sidestep away from Tugueros. Now Benzema for Marcelo. Ronaldo. Chance to run at Mario Gaspar. Oh, and a centre straight to Benzema. And he really couldn't miss Karim Benzema. It's taken Real Madrid 40 minutes to break down this stubborn Villarreal side. But anywhere but under the head of Benzema. From the perspective of Sergio Asenjo, the Villarreal goalkeeper. The majority of attacks from Real Madrid have come down the left flank. This time it's Marcelo passes the ball into Ronaldo. And gets past Mario Gaspar, just needs a little bit of room to get that cross in. And hits him with so much power. And Seno has to get something on it to try and deflect the cross away safely. It just goes up in the air, and the grateful Kareem Benzema in the goal scorer's position, poaching as usual. He just knows he has to get it goalwards, get it on target. Doesn't need to find any power. Last quarter of the game now. Real Madrid looking to follow up wins earlier this evening for Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. Pass to Lucas Vasquez. Well, that's what they've been searching for. And surely that's going to be enough now to close the title race up and get us back to where we started tonight with the top three separated by just one point. It's a brilliant strike from Lucas Vasquez. You can see why Zidane trust him to be the replacement for Gareth Bell. He's a player that Rafa Benitez used on many occasions, and now Zidane, he's having a, a terrific season. He's a real good supplement to Benzema, Bell and Ronaldo, and that is a stunning strike. Plays off the front foot, gets the return pass back off of Benzema, shrugs off the challenger, Bruno. An emphatic, accurate finish right at the end of a really good attacking move from Real Madrid. It's brilliant from the young Real Madrid striker. Senhor Bina is near post, but a nice line of defence. He's trying to get there, but just goes off the inside of the post. Means that the young Spaniard has got the second goal. And... Villarreal have got uh, Bali back on the pitch. Looks to be moving okay. This is Danilo moving menacingly. Modric! Fantastic skill from Luka Modric! A ghosting run from midfield, and he gets ample reward for it, but he still had work to do at the end. Real Madrid now cruising to three big points. 76 minutes of the game, and Luka Modric from his team 2 0 up. Showing great desire and motivation to charge half the length of the pitch. To get onto the end of the cross from Danilo. More control on the finish, he's at full stretch. And so Benzema releases the Real Madrid right back. There's too much pace for Bonera. It's a really good cross into the box, inviting cross, waiting for someone to attack it. And Modric attacks it on the ball. And it's far from easy. You can see the skill on there, he runs his foot up. And the side foots it into the opposite corner. Just hit and hope. It's a fantastic shot from Modric. Good goals from Vasquez and Modric tonight, the second half of Real Madrid. We saw the last bit of action for Ronaldo, though. They have a head kick. It's uh, the final whistle from Klaus Gomez. Yeah, just whether Ronaldo. Pulled something there in that attempt at the overhead, just feeling the right hamstring, it would appear there. Maybe just tweaked a groin muscle, but he did go off a couple of minutes before the end. But Real Madrid were already home and hosed to a very, very important three points. They've beaten Villarreal here at the Santiago Bernabeu by three goals to nil. Well, that will surely be a concerning picture for Zinedine Zidane to see Ronaldo struggling like that. But it was exactly the performance and result that Real Madrid needed this evening, knowing 
that they needed to keep pace with Barcelona and with Atletico, who had played earlier on or dropped behind in the race for the La Liga title.